So I briefly wanted to show you the main difference between a combination boiler and a conventional boiler, but we're only talking about the heating, so the radiators. Um, for a combination boiler, what happens is you turn your thermostat on, you want heat, so the boiler then tells itself, I need to produce some heat, comes from the boiler, through the radiator, back out the radiator, and back to the boiler. Very, very straightforward. So you ask for it, it should then come on, goes through, back out, and back. So a conventional system is slightly more complex, but not too much more. So you boil it, so you turn your thermostat on. It then tells, it says to the boiler, right, I need to produce some heat for the radiators. So the water, boiler comes on, goes to what's, and this is, the pump, it's just a schematic symbol for it, and then it goes to the free port valve, which is a pretty poor attempt, and this free port valve then tells the water where to go, either to your hot water, which we're not gonna be talking about, or to your heating. So you turn your thermostat on, goes through the free port valve, goes down to your radiator, gets nice and hot, comes back to your boiler return. So. It basically creates a constant circuit, water's flowing constantly round for the time that you want your heating or that the thermostat's reached its limit, its temperature. Um, this, the boiler on the combi is fed via the mains. So that's how that's filled up. Um, with the conventional system, what you'll usually find is that you see here a little tank in your loft this will come down a few pipes in the way just for the sake of this drawing um, and that will just be fed into the system and then it'll also have a vent as well so i try not to get too technical on that but essentially a boiler then uses the pump free port goes to the radiator back and keeps going around um, i hope this helps